In the last video about Adobe Aero, we basically saw how to use a 3D model provided by Adobe. And in this video, we are going to see how to import our own 3D model into Adobe Aero. First of all, you have to create a new augmented reality experience. Then here you will find the three-dimensional space and you have to click on the plus and import your 3D model. For example, I have this one from Super Mario and here you can adjust the position and the scale of the 3D model. And here you can see that uh, basically the 3D model is in the hierarchy in the scene. So right now let's go, uh, let's switch to the mobile device. So I close the application on the computer about Adobe Aero and then I open it here in the iPad. I will open now the, the, the experience on the iPad. If you don't find it already there, you can click in your files and you will find it there. So as, as usual, I have to scan the environment right now and Adobe Aero will try to identify possible surfaces in which it can place the 3D model. Now you tap on the screen to place it in a specific position. You can scale the 3D model as well. You can reposition it. And if you tap on the 3D model, you can see that there is a menu here and there is a specific button that is called behaviors. So in here you can create a trigger and you can associate actions to triggers. For example, as a trigger, you can say, okay, when this is visible, so at the start, you can do this. Or when you tap on it, you can, for example, uh, make it bounce, play an image, play an audio, play an animation. In this case, we are going to play an audio and we are going to select the file from the device. At this point, you can also add another trigger, for example, proximity. So when you get close with the device to this 3D model, something happens. It can be bounce, it can be spin, it can be the rotation of the 3D model, it depends on what you want to show. It can be also an animation, but the animation needs to be associated with the 3D model. Let's try spin. Okay, now you have to switch to preview and if you tap on it, it will emit a sound. If instead you go closer, then it will spin. So as you can see, it's very easy. And for having an immediate impression of uh, how a 3D model looks like in uh, your environment, that is pretty enough. If you want to delete one action, you can do like this and you can change. For example, you can, uh, you can see what else is available here. Probably the most wanted uh, actions is to play an animation, probably. But there is also something else, like you can hide an object when you type on it, as you can see here, or you can open a website. You can also move the 3D model and 
Yeah, for the website, you can see here, open URL. So you can type here, for example, Google. And switch to preview. And when you will tap on it, it will open the browser with the link you specified. So as you can see, it's pretty easy. In the next video, we are going to see how to import a character and animate that character.